A breaking news update now on a tense situation unfolding at a YMCA. Guns drawn, shots fired, a police officer in the hospital. And we're gathering new details tonight on how and also why this happened. ABC 15's Christopher Sign is live. And Chris, we know that the suspect was shot. And this officer who was hurt, how's he doing? Steve, I just found out the officer is out of the hospital with a leg injury. He's going to be okay. The suspect was shot in the chest. Let me explain what happened to you. This YMCA resident came to the facility. He couldn't get into his room. So somebody at YMCA, an employee, got into an elevator with him. They were going to go up to the seventh floor. Well, it was while in the elevator, this suspect showed the YMCA employee a gun and then threatened him. So then they got out of the seventh floor building. That's when they started to fight in, this, in the area just outside of the elevator. Well, the employee was able to get back into the elevator. And and it was at that point the employee got all the way back downstairs and instituted a lockdown. Police were already on the way. When police got there, they found the man in a stairwell. A police officer came, came up to him. They got into a fight. The officer pushed the suspect all the way down the stairs. Suspect is now on the ground and has a gun out. At that point, another police officer comes around the corner. The suspect has his gun out. The officer pulls out his gun and shoots and strikes the suspect. That sounded like an explosion. Um, it really didn't sound like gunshots. That's the suspect with a bloody nose and a gunshot wound to the chest. Investigators tell me they also found drugs they believe belong to the man. I spoke with a former resident there who told me it's in his experience, this is highly unusual from the get-go. I really believe it's a lack of security as well as administration to let someone that was um, supposedly thrown out of the building or not non gratis in the building for them to take a person up there and let them get their belongings because in the past they wouldn't allow residents to do that. And we are expecting to hear much more from YMCA about this incident tomorrow. As for that suspect, he was shot in the chest. He's in serious condition tonight, but is expected to survive. Steve and Stephanie. Yeah, given everything that went down, lucky nobody else was hurt. Thanks, Chris. All right.